Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. And today I'm going to introduce you to the other furry member of my family. Come on up, bub. Come on, come on. This is Hugo. Hi, Hugo. Bubba. <laughs> Otherwise known as Bubba. <laughs> Since, <laughs> since he was a puppy, I've been calling him Bubba. And I don't know why, it just seems to fit him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Bubba is a little less calm than Pippi, so I don't know if he'll stay up here the whole time, but I thought I would introduce you to him. So, I'll tell you a little bit about Hugo. I'll tell you his story, and so if you see him in future vlogs, you'll know who he is. So, Hugo is a French Bulldog. He is almost a year and a half. I think he's like a year and five months. And we've had him since he was three months old. So the reason that we got little Hugo is that my boyfriend had an English Bulldog previously who unfortunately passed away. His name was Dex. And he was funny. He was such a character. So we decided on a French Bulldog just because they're a little bit smaller than the English Bulldog. Dex was at his prime. He was like 75 pounds. He was big for an English Bulldog. But we thought just having a smaller dog might make it easier to travel and might make it easier for him to play with Pippi. So my boyfriend found Hugo from a breeder in Vancouver. Now this was in 2020, in the late fall of 2020. And I don't know if, if, this, if it was like this everywhere around the world, but there was like this big boom of everyone wanting a COVID puppy because everyone was home alone all the time. Maybe not alone, but just was home a lot more often. People were working from home. So lots of people were looking for dogs and the prices of dogs were like through the roof. Shelters, like our local shelter was closed. And basically it was really hard to find a puppy. Anyway, so, my boyfriend found little Hugo and we arranged to have him flown to us. So, <laughs> it was actually really funny. So, he went to the airport to pick up little Hugo, little Bubba, and my boyfriend was so excited. So, we picked up his daughter. Uh, his daughter is 20, she'll be 22 this year. And we picked her up. So, she came with us and we drove to the airport, the three of us. Right when we got to the little cargo area, he just, he like, it was winter. So he, he turned the car off and then just like ran inside. <laughs> and his daughter and I were just sitting in the car like, well, we're kind of cold and we don't know which room you went into. Like he just ran into the building and it, you know, <laughs> goes into all these different hallways and offices. But he was just so excited to get little Bubba. And then we met little Hugo and he's been very sweet since day one. He just has the biggest heart. He's so sweet and gentle. And when we got him, he was smaller than Pippi. I'm not sure how much he weighed, but he was, like if you saw them next to each other, he was so tiny. And then he just grew and grew and grew into the big boy you see here today. He's about 30 pounds right now. And it's really interesting because initially when we thought of a French Bulldog, we thought, oh, he'll be like Dex, like our English Bulldog. And Dex was very low energy. Like he would sit in this chair and just sit here for hours, just chilling. He very rarely played. He was very low maintenance. He was a great dog. Dex was awesome. But of course, Hugo was a puppy and he was just wild all the time. And he's starting to calm down a little bit now. He still gets zoomies. He still loves to play. If one of us is home, sitting at the kitchen table, like working from the kitchen table, he'll just bug us all day to throw his ball to play fetch. So he's still very playful. And when he's at my parents' house, so my parents babysit, or dogs sit for us whenever we're away, like when we went to Europe last year. And whenever Hugo's there, he loves my parents and he loves being there. 
they have carpeted floors and I think he just loves the traction he gets there or he just loves the fact that my parents are both retired so they walk around a whole lot more than we do like my boyfriend and I work from home now but when we're home like we're sitting at the at the table working like we're not walking around cooking things or on the phone <laughs> so he gets very excited when he's there and funny story so my parents told us after we've been gone for a few days once that like Hugo just was non-stop playing like and he needed attention all the time like if my mom wanted to cook something in the kitchen he just would be like on her barking at her to pay attention to him because he wanted to eat his bone on her lap like he that's one thing he likes is he likes eating his bones while leaning or lying on somebody which is really gross when it's like a bully stick because if you know what a bully stick is they're very stinky and like <laughs> they get like really soggy and gross but anyway Hugo likes them um, but so we went to Europe for two whole weeks and my mom said for the entire two weeks he was just like go 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 non-stop <laughs> until they put him in his crate at night I don't know if they put him in his crate but he was in my old bedroom <laughs> at their house and they were just like he'd go there at night they turn the lights off and then in the morning he'd be like raring to go <laughs> right from the start so I don't know why and then when we came and picked him up he was just like exhausted he needed like a week to just sleep to recover so I don't know but I think he likes his life he's he's very loved and he's very friendly and even my dad who is not that keen on house dogs he loves Hugo like when, and Hugo loves him so like he will when he's at my parents house he will just run to my dad he'll jump on the couch to be beside him and they're besties and Hugo's Hugo's a great addition to the family now with Pippi when she first met Hugo so I told her she was bigger than him and she didn't really care too much at first he would sometimes pester her to play and basically he was her annoying little brother <laughs> like it was a very almost human dynamic in that she was like the big sister whose little brother was constantly like on her and wanting to play with her But eventually he broke Pippi down and they play every so often, especially on the bed, if they're on the bed together. I don't know if it's just like that it's soft, that they have better traction, like a boyfriend and I both have hardwood floors, so they can't really run too much or tussle too much. But yeah, it's the cutest thing ever when they play. Oh, <laughs> Hugo has not been on as many trips as Pippi has. We took him to the mountains, we took him to Jasper over Christmas, and it was an interesting experience. He has never been in a hotel before, so this was his first time, and every time we heard a noise outside, he would kind of flip out, or he would bark at people in the hall who were just like minding their own business. But we're hoping to travel a little bit more with him and Pippi, and show them a little bit more of the world. And of course, we love spending time with our dogs. They're our little pack. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment. Say hello to little Baba Hugo. <laughs> also known as Little Sir. I don't know why I started calling him that once. And that kind of, it stuck. So he's a dog of many names. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.